Every year, hundreds of seekers come out of their existential crises during their love inspirations. Free, open to all satsangs with Maharishika. Please support this noble cause by donating generously. Click the link in the description box below. Namaskar, Maya. In the last days, I was uh, really fascinated by the agoris. So on the one side, they somehow break the disgust by eating feces and doing all the stuff with the skulls and with the dead bodies. And on the other side, there is somehow the bridge between the material and the spiritual. Spiritually seen, what purpose do they serve by doing their sadhana? The agori sadhana is a very ancient system, Agora, of understanding the meaning of life by training to get rid of a lot of the values and systems that society has imposed. So Agora's generally have a very long training period and their training takes place at the cremation and burial grounds. They are taught not to fear death. They are put through experiences that show them the ephemeral nature of life itself. They are taught to break any sort of constructs that society may have taught them. So what they do as part of their training, they live in the cremation grounds, they smear their bodies with the ash of burnt bodies, dead bodies, they eat the flesh of dead bodies, their cup is a skull, they use bones, for many of their rituals, and also animals. They tread the fine line between life and death all the time. They explore life through death. That is what they do. And it is a very challenging and very hard and very harsh sadhana, because Living in a cremation ground means you're continuously faced with the fact of your own death. And in the light of that, in the face of your own death, life just takes on a different meaning, you know? If in this very moment, as you sit here, you were aware entirely that you could die any moment. And then in the next moment, again, you're aware of it. And you're just aware of it all the time, because you're confronted with that death every moment. Your entire approach and attitude to life, society, money, sex, interpersonal relationships, power, everything changes. It's a tough and challenging sadhana. In fact, the Agoris are even known as part of their ritual training to even have sexual relations with a dead body. So it is going into an aspect of existence in an extreme way, confronting yourself with death all the time. It also takes the form of a training in getting rid of attachment to any aesthetics. A Gauri Babas can just go on the road and eat a piece of dog poop. They can just do that. For them, it is the same as eating a, a piece of vegetable or something. They've trained themselves to cut out any sort of sensual aesthetics. And why 
is this sadhana in practice? It is considered to be the fast course to Self-Realization, in some cases to Enlightenment. It's meant for the very, very tough. One of the toughest sadhanas, one of the toughest spiritual practices on the planet. And I can tell you that another very tough spiritual practice is what is taught here. It is equivalent on one level to that practice, because you are required in every single moment to be present here and now, here and now, here and now, here and now. And so that being present here and now is very similar to being confronted with death, because you have nothing more than this moment. And in this moment, you are able to live in the Truth. Just like, when you are confronted with death, you have only this moment. And that is what pushes you to living in the Truth. So the Aghori Sadhana is a sadhana that takes the seeker away from the ego impositions of society to the realization of Self through methods and means that are not at all acceptable by society. It's a continuous walking of a tight rope between life and death and being continuously confronted in each moment, each moment, in each moment. This moment, this moment, this moment, this moment, this moment, this moment, this moment. This moment. And they see death, and you see life. It's about being in this moment. And Aghori, who does not stay in this moment during the sadhana, can be gripped by such a fear that they can just die from a heart attack or from a stroke or something. Because that sadhana is so tough. Imagine being in a crematorium or in a burial ground in the middle of the night with dogs howling around and strange people and fires burning and, and this feeling of ghosts all around and having to hold tough and strong in that space. If you lose this moment, you fall into fear. And you fall into fear, then you get gripped so badly, because look at the place you're in. So it's a tough sadhana, but it's a sadhana that brings you to this moment, and keeps you in this moment, and makes you aware of what ego is. I thought it was more about undergoing all this training in order to serve the dead people by burning them in the correct way, or something like that. Aghori Sadhana is a spiritual practice. It goes against the norms of society, of religion, of culture, of history. It even goes against most spiritual traditions. They are the wild ones. The wild ones. <laughs> We have announced the winter schedule for presence with Maharishika on our website. Please visit maharishika.org slash winter schedule 2022.